Mike Reese with 2011 Saluki Hall of Fame inductee Rob Dixon. Congratulations. What's Thank it mean you. to you? Well, it uh, probably the best part of it has been uh, remembering times that maybe I hadn't thought about in that mm -hmm. level of detail until this uh, honor was very surprisingly uh, yeah. bestowed upon me. Uh, Mario Mocha called me in the fall, must have been about October, yeah. and uh, I was quite surprised but quite pleased. And I'm sure you wonder, you know what, after 30, 35 years, anybody remember? Yeah. Right? Exactly. And so that has to be a big part of it too. It does. When you talk about remembering moments, Rob, what are some of the moments? Well, uh, probably my first uh, very strong memory of, of Southern was uh, I was swimming in the 1968 Olympic trials in Long Beach. I was uh, going to be a high school senior. Mm -hmm. We were housed in the dorms at Long Beach State University and I was staying with my dad and we were in a room next to Ray Essick, the swimming coach for sure. Southern Illinois University. Mm -hmm. And that's where I first met Ray. Mm -hmm. uh, I visited the school. Uh, must have been May. It was late in my senior year. Folks really get out of the gate to go to college pretty early. But I literally did not decide where I was going to college mm -hmm. uh, until May of my senior year of high school. Were you heavily recruited? I was heavily recruited, probably by 50, 60 universities around the country. So why Southern? I came here and I just, uh, you know, really liked Ray Essick mm -hmm. uh, and I really liked the guys on the team and I loved Carbondale. Uh, it, uh, <laughs> they took me out to, you know, Crab Orchard Lake and the Spillway and, and it was sunny and the weather was perfect like it always is in Carbondale and uh, just had a great time. But, but I knew that uh, and, and I met Gola Waters, who was uh, mm -hmm. involved with the business school then. Uh, I knew I was going to be an accounting major, pre-law. Mm -hmm. uh, and so everything just felt really right. And, and it turned out to be that way. You were a four-time All-American. Did you get everything out of your career at Southern that you wanted to? I did. Mm -hmm. I did. Um, and, and I got a great education. Mm -hmm. and, and I was very interested in that as well. Mm -hmm. So it really was perfect for me. The, the balance of academics and athletics was great. Uh, my teammates were great. We really, uh, we really supported each other. In swimming, for all practical purposes, we were really a Big Ten team. Uh, and Southern has always been that way sure. in, in some of the other sports, the non-major sports. Right. And, so, uh, you know, our competition really was mostly Indiana, Ohio State, Michigan, Northwestern. Uh, we we, we uh, went over and swam Missouri one year, which mm -hmm. was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And then the Aviation Technology School, uh, allowing us to fly. Back then it was in the DC-3s. Sure, sure. Was, was fantastic. It really was a nice way to get around and go to the meets. You were third in 71 in the 200 fly, and Mark Spitz was one. Was that who everybody was compared to at that time in that event? You Absolutely. Included? Mark Spitz was the, uh, he was the gold standard yeah. in swimming for many years. Uh, and so, and we saw Mark Spitz uh, because we swam Indiana dual meet sure. every year as well. Sure. And in swimming, the dual meet season really is just a rehearsal for the NCAA championships. I yeah. mean, that's what it's all about in swimming, yeah. uh, as it probably is in track and field, wrestling, gymnastics, and, and all the minor sports. So is that the guy you always wanted to beat? Absolutely. You're training to beat him. You're yeah. training to beat him. And I qualified first in the morning, so um, unfortunately I didn't hold my position at night. What's your favorite year? Oh, they were all good. My senior year was great uh, because uh, uh, I guess I had just uh, had the experience. Uh, I don't think I lost a race my senior year in any meet uh, until we went down to Athens, Georgia, which we always did for a, a little uh, invitational meet mm -hmm. called the Southern Invitational Championships. And I lost in the 200 breaststroke to a guy named David Wilkie who won the gold medal in the 200 breasts in 1976 oh. and was a freshman at University of Miami and a heck of a nice guy. 
And that, that is really one of the great memories of Southern is not just the guys on our team, but all the guys I met from all the schools. Pulliam Pool was home, was home, wasn't it? Pulliam Pool was home. I get uh, choked up just talking about it, Rob. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, w it was never so full as when Mark Spitz came to town, though. Wow. Mark Spitz came to town and swam at Pulliam, and literally there were people, they let people sit out on the decks. Wow. And that was the most women we ever got to a swim. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Congratulations. Well-deserved. Saluki Hall of Fame. Rob Thank Dixon. you so much. A pleasure. Saluki Hall of Famer, Rob Dixon.